technology is everywhere. I had to do a group project the other day, and I went over to my friend's apartment from one of my classes, and we had a link that we were supposed to pull up, and we were supposed to complete a homework assignment on that link. And she pulled out her iPad, and she plugged in the link that we needed to complete this assignment. And her iPad was taking a little bit longer than she had wanted. So she put away her iPad and got her backpack and pulled out her laptop. And she plugged in the link again into her laptop, but the laptop wasn't charged very much, so it was going to die soon. So she put her laptop back away, and she stuck her hand down her pocket and pulled out her iPhone. And from her iPhone, she was able to plug in the link, and we were able to complete our homework assignment from the screen on her iPhone. Now, to me, this is, it's surprising that a college student at about 20 years old has access to that many different things that she can complete, or we could complete our homework assignment on so we could access the internet. Um, we know that's, that's expensive. I don't have that many different things right at my fingertips here at school, but What's even more surprising is that that same case is very common even here on our BYU-Idaho campus. Um, just a few days after that, from that same class, a different girl pulled out both an iPad and a laptop to complete her assignment in class as well. Um, we, technology really is everywhere. We have GPSs that are installed right into our cars that can give us directions and can show us maps and we can plug in our exact location and the exact location that we want to get to and we can even have a voice talk to us and tell us um, where we need to turn next or how much further we need to go in a certain in direction. Um, we have cell phones that are able to access the internet that are able to check our emails. Um, we have small enough computers, so we have laptops and iPads and Microsoft surfaces that are small enough to fit into both our purses or our backpacks, so we have constant access to these devices. We have handheld game systems that also keep us occupied that are small enough to fit into our pockets, so they're at our fingertips all the time too. We have wireless headphones, and the list goes on and on of different technologies that we have today. Um, I have a few different cousins that have really become obsessed with these, with their iPods and their iPhones. So we have a lot of family get-togethers where all of our cousins and aunts and uncles and grandparents um, come together and we usually have dinner together and then we just have conversation with each other, get caught up on what we've missed in each other's lives. and. Even though these, these cousins that I'm talking about are present, they're not really there. They're, it's almost like they're in a different world because of this technology that they're so consumed in. Um, if you ask them a question, they will answer you, but pretty much, for the most part, conversation isn't initiated of, on their part. So if they're there, but they're not really there mentally. Um, I take an interpersonal theory and practice class this semester. And the other day, we were talking about the skill of listening. And my teacher said the most distracting thing um, when you're trying to listen to somebody is a cell phone. So let's say we're having a conversation and my cell phone goes off in my pocket. And the natural reaction is to want to check my cell phone. But what is the message that we're sending to the person that we're actually communicating with in person when we stop to check that message? It's, we're sending the message that this person that we have no idea who it is or what they want to say is more important than the physical person that's right in front of me. So we need to be careful about that. Um, how many of you guys can think of somebody that kind of fits the description of what I just said of my cousins? Probably most of us, if not all of us, know somebody that's very consumed in technology because there's so much of it today and it's easy to get distracted with those things. Um, now, it would be partial of me to say that these, that my cousins that I just talked about are the only ones that are caught up in this technology trap, we can call it, of today. Um, I think 
like, like we just saw, a lot of us know somebody that is in that same position. And I also think it would be partial of me to say that I personally have not been found in that position. I know that both these two sites are my most popular. I say every single day I visit both of these at least once. And I say every single day I visit at least Facebook more than once. Definitely more than once. <laughs> um, and when I